Hi everybody, Father Greg here breaking into your day because today is a feast of the church, a major feast of the church, and one of my favorites. Today is the feast of St. Peter and St. Paul. Now each of these uh, heroes of the faith have their own feast day, the, the conversion of St. Paul and the confession of St. Peter, but also because they are so linked together um, that they have their feast day, the two of them. Um, and so we're going to keep that feast this morning. And we're going to start with a reading, not from a letter of Paul or not from an epistle of Peter, but from the book of Isaiah, which I think applies equally to both of them. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, you are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Well, that's Isaiah's experience. That was uh, God's revelation to Isaiah, but surely it is true also for Peter and for Paul. Now, in our scripture, we only meet Peter as an adult when he's fishing and when Jesus calls him as a disciple. And we only meet Paul as an adult when he is persecuting uh, the early Christians and, and Jesus appears to him and, and calls him to serve uh, himself. But what if God called both of them in the womb? What if God had such a plan for both Peter and for Paul that God knew of this and prepared for this even before they were born? And all of those years up to that point were preparation for who they were to be. And that reading from Isaiah says, it is too small a thing for you, Isaiah, to be just a prophet to, uh, to Israel, to be just a prophet to Judah. I'm going to make you a prophet to the whole world. It's interesting and fun to remember that that's, that's what God did for Peter and for Paul. You can have a shorthand version and think, well, Peter was the, the head of the church in Jerusalem and Peter was the institutional caretaker and Paul was the evangelist and Paul was off the, the apostle to the Gentiles. And that's that's true, but remember it was it was Peter who okayed the Gentiles being accepted into the community because he had a vision from God that the Holy Spirit was not limited by birthright. And it's Paul who writes not only to the Gentiles, but also to the Jews and calls them to be one body. So on this, their feast day, let's, let's consider the idea that that God had a special plan for both these prophets, for both these servants, even before they were born, and that neither of them can be reduced to, to one tribe or the other, but, but rather that God called them to be a light to the whole world. Let's pray. We'll pray the collect for St. Peter and St. Paul. Almighty God, whose blessed apostles Peter and Paul glorified you by their martyrdom. Grant that your church, instructed by their teaching and example, 
and knit together in unity by your Spirit, may ever stand firm upon the one foundation, which is Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming together on this wonderful feast day, a blessed feast of Peter and Paul to you this day. Bye now.